You know, I call my video series <laughs> Watching the World Burn. I The whole world has just descended into utter madness, and I used to call it the absurdity of the world. I made a bunch of videos about that. But this is... This is madness. I mean, it, it reminds me of World War II when uh, Nazi Germany wouldn't admit that they had lost the war and they sacrificed millions of Germans uh, in, in their madness to, to continue fighting uh, stupidly. But So, uh, as you know, Russia made an overture to... Uh, in the war today um, and this is Ukraine's response only Ukraine's victory victory will end the war let's just read some of this uh, let's see let's see I got it uh, fighting or suffering in Ukraine when you're on no end in sight um, this is a uh, Hutchison times uh, Ukraine has ruled out talks even as Russia carries on its offensive in eastern Ukraine front, front lines. I don't think Ukraine knows they've lost the war at this point. But uh, Ukraine presidential advisor Mikhail Opodilek, who headed the country's negotiating um, team in the early phases of the conflict, has said that talks are out of the question. Out of the question, they will not even talk to Russia unless they agree to completely withdraw from uh, Ukrainian territories, including uh, the 2014 uh, Crimea. Said so Moscow will, oh yeah, and of course Russia fired back, said they will never leave the occupied territories. Uh, and then of course, then they fired back. Ukraine's victory is the only way uh, the war will end. Ukraine's demands are Russia must stop attacking Ukrainian territory. Oh, yeah, that's going to really happen and withdraw troops. Uh, Russia renunciation of nuclear blackmail in reference to alleged uh, shelling. The limiting of prices for Russian energy resources to prevent them from being used as a weapon. Oh, yeah. And these are all things I'm sure Russia is going to agree to. The establishment of a special tribunal for the crime of Russia and, and Putin needs to be hung by until dead. I put those words in there myself. Uh, but Putin uh, accepts the new territorial realities. What drugs are these people on? Russia has won this war. I mean, they honestly think that, I mean, oh my God. And I'm sorry. Okay, so let's see how Russia fires back on this. And uh, I, I definitely support. I don't want to say I support their position, but they are they have the upper hand in, in, the, in this argument. This was contingent on Ukraine fulfilling well-known, repeatedly voiced requirements. Russia unilaterally annexed four partly occupied Ukrainian regions. Of course, we're in the Donbass right now. That'll be done here within the next couple of weeks um, in the east, Kherson and... Zaporozhia in the south. Um, so uh, Russia's court of matters. Ukraine must give up territories annexed by Russia in Kherson, Zaporozhia, Donetsk, and Luhansk. Legal guarantees that Ukraine will never join NATO and the Constitution amended to cement this. Well, they've been demanding that for since 2014. Ukraine must recognize Crimea annexed by Moscow in, Moscow in 2014 as Russian territory. So, and of course, Ukraine will never be admitted to NATO. So, this is where we stand. The Ukrainians are delusional. I mean, Russia, I, they have the upper hand on this. And I, I hate to say it, before we destroy the rest of the Ukraine and, of course, NATO and all of our Western hardware, let's sit down at the table, you know, Confirm, but verify, whatever, and end this. That's it. It's good, good, good to live in the free, free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious.